what's up everyone welcome back to another tech video tip video in today's video i am going to talk about this amazing windows optimizer uh this is done uh, created by helzerg and uh, shout out to him it's really good let me go down and see it says windows faster and more secure when you use it and it's portable use and you don't have to install anything so let's uh, see how to download and how to install and how to do these tricks okay so first of all go down a little bit and go to releases in here now uh, this is the latest release which is done by uh, april 3rd and you need to click on this exe file okay it's downloaded let me open it up okay it doesn't have any installation just you just it's a portable version of the optimizer so you just need to open it and it will uh, load everything you want okay so this is the optimizer for windows 11 and it has so many info uh, so many things you can do so let me go through some of them and first one is enable performance task make sure it's turned on and network throttling turn on disable windows defender i think you can't do it uh because you can't uh, disable windows um defender it says windows defender cannot be disabled in windows 10 version higher so you can do it now and smart screen you can disable disable system resource i don't think that's a good idea because if you some application create a system rest, uh, restores file store if you like if the application has something wrong and you need you can go to that backup so i think this one should be enabled and disable error reporting uh disable telemetry task okay um I'm not going to disable these things so uh, print service you can disable if you're not using uh, prints in your laptop or machine I'm not using a printer so I'm gonna click here this one uh, disable fax uh, service I don't think no one is using that one so I'm gonna enable that one disable media player sharing I don't use it so I'm gonna put it there uh, disable sticky keys what is this sticky keys here sticky keys is uh, accessible features to windows users physical disable using okay i think i don't need that one home group i don't need super fetch super fetch is um, a preload it's preloading uh, apps to ram so uh, sometimes it uh, if you're using like a hard drive not, not a ssd uh, this super fetch getting like a hundred percent processor so i'm pretty sure you need to disable this one and compatible access disable this one so i'm disabling this option uh don't use mine if you like if you're going through this but what you know what you can do is if you don't know what this means just uh, hover over it and it'll, it show a uh, small description about what this uh, settings do so you can decide by yourself uh, whether we are going you're going to enable it uh, disable it or anything you want so that's what that is then the next step is windows 11 these are the settings only for windows 11 users so let me go through one by one uh, restore classic export i don't need that uh, disable start menu ads i don't think i'm getting an advertisement on start menu right now but let's turn it off okay uh third one uninstall onedrive i'm not using onedrive on my pc because i'm using uh, google drive so i'm uninstalling that one disable my people i think that's it that is on windows 10 as well so i'm going to disable i don't use it Enable long path, maximum path of uh, limited characters. I think I will keep this one for now. Disable Windows Ink. 
I'm not using that so I'm gonna disable that one disable spell checking I think I need this one because it's checking the spells uh, spell correction text correction and stuff so I'm not disabling it disable Xbox live if you are not using Xbox on your Windows uh, PC uh, just dis disable it uh, for now Disable TPM 2.0 check. I don't need that one. I'm just going to disable that one. Disable the future updates. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea because Windows 11 is still in early age. So it will update, it will send like security updates and different different kind of updates. So I don't think it's a good idea to uh, disable this one. Uh, this one also about automatic update. I'm keeping that one as well uh exclude drivers from update i'm not doing that as well uh, what that means is it will exclude all the driver updates from your windows updates so you have to manually install other updates uh, other driver updates if you wish to uh, i think some people need that because they are going for drivers from nvidia site and drive, download and install that one instead of uh, updating from uh, windows uh, uh, window microsoft updates so i think that's okay uh disable telemetry service i'm gonna enable that enhance privacy uh disable cloud uh, clipboard i think i need that one so i'm gonna keep that one disable cortana i'm not i never used cortana in my life in windows pc so i'm going to not use that disable sensor service i'm not using any sensors remove to cast to device i'm not using that one disable game bar oh, i'm not using that so i'm gonna disable that disable inside services so i am disabling that as well because i'm not using insider services uh, what else we have we have align taskbar to left I'm already in left, so I'm gonna not doing anything here. Disable snap assist. So snap assist is if you hover over a uh, window, you can see which one to snap. So you can disable that. If you click here, still it should be showing, but if you close this one and go to taskbar, task manager and find windows explorer and click restart now let's open that application again the downloads now since we have disabled this snap assist if you hover over it now you can't see that snap assist uh, window now that's snap assist uh, disable widgets i'm not using any widgets so i'm going to disable it disable chat i'm not using that one make taskbar smaller uh, i'm not doing that right now uh, unable classic clipping explorer unable right click menu so this is i'm i'm very need to do because if you click one now it shows me the old windows 10 version of a uh, context menu so if you dis uh, any disable it you can see the new version i need this old version because uh, because this old version has uh informations more than informa more information than the new one so it's enable right click i'm going to click on that if uh, any of this option will if it is not working right now if i right click here it's not working what you need to do is like before go to windows uh, in, in taskbar in find uh, windows uh, explorer and restart it so it will work fine or restart your machine it will work fine then as well uh, okay that tab is finished now let's go to third step uh, third tab is all about uninstalling unwanted apps so 
it has all the windows installed app um, I'm not going to uninstall anything here for now okay, fourth uh, tab is all about startup so these are the, all the application right now in my machine will start uh, when the computer is starting up so I have discord Skype uh, free download manager disk uh, discord light shot and stuff I can disable these things like if you click on one let's say discord and if you re, uh, delete it it will not run uh, on next restart so that's how you remove these startup items if you want if you don't want to delete anything you can go to uh, start and type startup startup apps and uh, turn it off in here as well um let's go to five uh, fifth tab fifth tab is all about installing common apps so let's say you just install your windows 11 uh, and windows 11 to your laptop or pc now you can come uh, install this application uh, open this application and install all this application at once so if you want seven zip check check on that if you want uh, like uh, adobe reader you can check on that and stuff so i'm not going to do anything here uh it's pretty easy just click on them and click on download if you want to install app download click on here and click on download and it will install after everything is downloaded okay uh that's the fifth step uh, next step is cleaner you can clean temporary files and uh, this information bsd minimap dumps error reports uh recycle bin those kind of things and also you can uh, remove clear cache cookies history session and password on every browser in here so let me choose this one only and analyze see i have this much of temporary files i can clean it by clicking on clean so that's what that is uh, next step is uh, about ping so what pinger means you can type any like you can type any website and click on ping it will check whether that uh, site is there as you can see it's get my ping so my ping is 39 so ping means um, how many milliseconds uh, a data packet need to go to your site go that let's say i'm using google.com so from my pc to google.com uh, and come back again to my pc it took like 39 milliseconds so that's what ping means okay uh, that's not a uh, very uh, need one for you mm next tab is hots i think this is a very important one like uh, i'm using this one for a lot of things so what this uh, can do is you can put an ip address or domain in here and block that domain or the ip address so let's say you want to block facebook you can just put uh, facebook here and click add it will uh, block from your pc so that's what this Hots means. Uh, other thing is registry. I'm not going to do anything in here. Um, this tab is about hardware. It will show all the hardware information about your PC. If that what you need, you can check from here your information. Um, so that's it for this application. I think I covered some of the information about here. Uh, if you, if if I didn't cover everything, you just can go anyone here, uh, anyone here. Just hover over the uh, thing you need to change, or thing you need to understand what that means, and it will show the description about what that uh, option do. So it's very easy to understand. If you don't do, if you don't understand, still don't understand. What that means just don't enable it or don't uh, make it on uh, make it on 
okay so that's it for today's video i think this video helpful for you to find out how to do these uh different kind of tips uh tricks to your windows 11 pc and uh, windows 11 pc and windows 11 laptop so that's it for today's video if you like this video give a thumbs up and if you love this video subscribe to the channel and comment anything you want in the comment section uh, if you have any questions or anything about this application just comment on in i will i will uh, reply to every comment in my um video video comment so uh subscribe to the channel see you next time with another video like this bye bye